Hi folks, it's Mike Murphy, and today's quick tip is an Adobe After Effects CC 2024. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to preserve the frame rate and or the resolution when you are nesting compositions or when they're in the render queue. So if I take this composition two and nest it or drag it onto composition one, composition two is going to inherit the frame rate and the resolution. But this tutorial is going to show you how you can override the default settings. So when you nest or drag one composition onto another, it will preserve the original frame rate and or resolution and not inherit the nested composition's frame rate and resolution. I'll open the composition settings for this comp one by going to the top menu, composition, composition settings, or use the must know keyboard shortcut, Command or Control K. There's the comp name at the top. It's 1920 by 1080 pixels. The frame rate is 30 frames per second and the resolution is set to full. Full is the maximum or the best quality resolution. So the graphics are gonna look really clear and sharp. Now we'll jump into comp two, open up the composition settings again by going to composition, composition settings, or use command or control K. There's the comp name at the top. It's the same 1920 by 1080 pixels. However, if you look at the frame rate, comp two is set to three frames per second. So it has a much lower frame rate, which explains why it has that choppy stop motion animation. And if you look at the resolution, it's set to quarter. So quarter is going to give you the lowest quality preview. So if I click okay, you'll see when I zoom into the graphic, it's kind of pixelated and blurry versus the full resolution. To preserve the frame rate and or the resolution for any composition, open up the composition settings in the composition that you want to preserve. So I'm in comp two, I'll go to the top menu, composition, composition settings, or use the keyboard shortcut, command or control K. Go to the second tab where it says advanced. You'll see two checkboxes. Tick the first checkbox to preserve the frame rate when nested. So when I drag comp two into another composition or when I add it to the render queue, it's going to maintain the original frame rate. Tick the second box if you also want to preserve the preview resolution when you nest it into another composition. Then click OK. I'll go into Comp 1, go to the Project Panel, select Comp 2. I'm going to drag it onto the Comp window. I'll hold the Shift key so it snaps in the center. Tap the spacebar, and now you can see Comp 2 has the original frame rate and the resolution did not change. And you can always go back and change or modify the settings of the comp at any time. So if I go to comp two, open up composition settings by pressing command or control K, I'll go to the advanced tab. This time I'm gonna uncheck preserve frame rate, but I'm gonna keep preserve resolution. I'll click okay to apply the changes, go back to comp one, now you can see the resolution did not change, but when I tapped the space bar, the frame rate was not preserved, so it inherited the frame rate of comp one. I'll go back to comp two, command or control K, go to advance, we'll do the opposite. I'll check preserve frame rate, I'll uncheck preserve resolution, click okay. And now when I go to comp one, You'll see the resolution has been inherited from comp one, so they're both at full, but when I tap the space bar, comp two maintained that three frames per second. That's why you're seeing that choppy stop motion feel for the comp two. So if you need to make sure that the frame rate and or the resolution does not change when you nest a composition or when you add it to the render queue, just open up composition settings, go to the advanced tab, Tick one or both of the boxes, click OK, and you're good to go. That is your quick tip in Adobe After Effects CC 2024. My name is Mike Murphy. Cheers.